to another day of knowledge and gadgets. Today, we're going to be making our very own weather device right at home. It might not be as advanced as the one you see in the show, but it's still very important and it's something you use every single day. Before we get started, I want you to think about what your favorite temperature is. Do you like it when it's hot and you can wear shorts outside? Or do you want to be wrapped up in cozy blankets with snow all around you? Somewhere in the middle? Well, you guys are in luck because we're gonna head on over to the experiment lab and see what today's craft is. I'll see you there. Hello and welcome to the experiments table. Today's craft is gonna be making our own thermometer. During this craft, I'd love for you guys to think about how a thermometer might work and anything else you know about temperature. So for today's materials, we're gonna need an empty glass soda bottle, half a cup of water measured out, and half a cup of rubbing alcohol measured out with your parents' supervision and permission. Over here we have some Play-Doh or some modeling clay. You can also use tape or anything sticky and sealing that will work. I have some optional food coloring here, and we'll also, we're also going to need a straw for today. So first things first, I'm going to put the glass bottle up forward. I'm going to take my half cup of water and then I'm going to pour. I'm going to be very careful while I pour and if I need my parents help, I'll ask them to help as well. Done. And next I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol. So you can see my rubbing alcohol here is already green, so I don't need the food coloring. If your rubbing alcohol is clear, that's totally fine. Just add one to two drops of food coloring into your alcohol once it's in the bottle, and then stir. But for now, I'm also going to pour it the same way I poured the water. Yay! Okay. So we can see here that we actually have rubbing alcohol here on the top, and then we have water on the bottom, and we see that this green dye is permeating all throughout the bottle. Next, I'm gonna take my modeling clay, and you can see here that I've already made a hole uh, through the clay, and this hole is for my straw. So I'm gonna put it on top without sealing it first. I'm going to put my straw through the hole into the bottle. And I'm going to be very, very careful that it touches the liquid, but it does not touch the bottom. I'm going to use the modeling clay and I'm going to seal the straw. And then I'm also going to seal it around the bottle too. Okay, so here we can see that we've made our own thermometer and we're ready to go test it. So in order to test it and compare, I'm going to grab a permanent marker from my shelf. So here I have a red permanent marker. And I'm gonna mark where the liquid stands on the straw. So I can see here that the liquid in the straw is right about here. And I'm gonna keep track of this all throughout the day. Hey guys, so I'm out here with the thermometer we just built and I just placed this thermometer under the sun for 10 minutes. Now I'm in California, so it's 95 degrees and really, really hot, but already we can see that this has worked extremely well. As you can see, the straw is looking kind of green even as we go up because the straw is sucking up liquid as it gets hotter and hotter. And we can see that the straw is actually sucked up so, so much that it doesn't stop till about there, almost at the very top of the bottle. Can you see where the mark is? So I've already went ahead and I've already made my mark for about where 95 degrees is. Where's your mark on a hot weather day? Over here, I bring back my finished bottle thermometer and you can see that I have a range of temperatures on this thermometer. 
After putting it in several places in my house where I knew a temperature would be a certain way, you can see here I finally have a freezing temperature from what I, when I place it into my freezer, room temperature, and we go gradually higher as it becomes hotter all the way to the 95 degree California sun. So now no matter where I go, I can always bring this thermometer with me and have a rough idea of how hot or cold it is. So why does this work? Well, in areas with higher temperatures, the molecules get increasingly excited and they start to move around really fast, expanding the liquid, which causes it to rise. On the other hand, cold temperatures cause the air to become more dense, creating more pressure on the liquid, which then shrinks in the bottle. But why do we care about temperature? Well, it turns out that our body, our society, all the animals in the world can really only function in a small range of temperatures. As climate change occurs, this causes temperatures all over the world to become inconsistent and increasingly dangerous for the environment and for all life on Earth. Such examples are rising sea levels, harsher droughts, dangerous hurricanes, and unpredictable wind and ocean patterns. So in order to help people like Birani and Celeste still have a home and beautiful cultures, climate change is an important topic that needs to be addressed and advocated for everywhere. Thank you so much for coming to today's workshop and I can't wait to see you at the next one. Bye!